This Waylight K21 tube light is $20 cheaper than the Aperture MC and it's bigger, it's brighter, so is it the best video light for small content creators? So today I'm gonna to compare these two lights when it comes to color and brightness, app integration, battery life, value for money, and then at the end, I'm gonna talk a bit about the different use cases for each light, depending on what you might be using your light for. All right, so to start off, let's talk a bit about the color and the brightness of each light. Now, I've said in my previous Aperture MC video that when it comes to small content creator like myself, color accuracy actually isn't really that big of a deal in my opinion. Now, if you're working on like a really big uh, high budget film set and you need your colors to be super accurate, that's one thing. But for someone like myself that just creates content for a small YouTube channel, color accuracy really doesn't matter that much because what I'm really wanting is just to add some splashes of color, some colored wash, some accents in different product shots, for example. And whether or not my light is creating like super accurate colors based on some sort of color chart, is it really concerned for me? I just want some blue in, the, in my background or maybe a bit of orange in my background or I might want a bit of red or white on a product that I'm trying to get a close up of. And so when it comes to these lights, I honestly can't tell the difference when it comes to color accuracy. They both produce colors that are really nice, that I really enjoy. Now, both of these lights are full RGB and they also have a full color temperature scale. So pretty much the sky's the limit with what colors you want. Now, like I said at the start, when it comes to brightness, the K21 is definitely brighter than the Aperture MC. And the main reason for this is just that it's bigger. It's a bigger, longer light, therefore it produces more light by default which I personally have actually found really handy. I have at times put my two Aperture MCs together to try and produce more light in one area, but the K21 does this all on its own. So you can just have the single light and it produces as much light pretty much as two Aperture MCs, if not more. So I've been really happy with the K21 in that regard. I've been trying to think of a scenario where I might want a small amount of light. I can't really think of one because with the K21, you can always just turn the brightness down to like one or 2% if you want a really dim light. So I think when it comes to overall brightness, the K21 actually wins. So next up, let's talk a bit about app integration. Now in my Aperture MC review video, I did talk about how one of the main reasons why I like the Aperture MC is because they're integrated with an app and I hadn't really seen that in other video lights before. But as it turns out, WeLight actually have their own lighting app which connects to the K21 via Bluetooth. And I actually like it better than the Citus Link app which Aperture uses. And to be honest, the only reason why I like it more is because it's quicker to connect. Literally, as soon as I open the app on my phone or my iPad, it connects pretty much instantaneously. I don't even notice any lag or any real waiting time. As soon as I open the app and start adjusting colors and brightnesses, the light will instantly respond. Now, I was really impressed with this, especially considering with the Aperture MCs, that was my main issue. Was that when I bought them, I originally really wanted to use the app because I thought it was gonna sort of be the most easy way to adjust colors on the lights. But as I found out, the Slotus Link app actually takes a good probably 10 seconds to connect to the Aperture MCs and it's just kind of inconvenient. If I'm just trying to adjust a little bit of brightness or maybe just slightly adjust the hue on one of the Aperture MCs, I don't really want to have to sit around and wait for it to actually connect to the light in the first place. Now, of course, the Citus Link app is more sophisticated because it's designed to work with a whole range of Aperture products and then interconnect them and you can do lots of different sophisticated things on the app. But again, for someone like me, where I'm not running a huge film set with like scores of different lights, I literally have two Aperture MCs and then this one K21. I don't need anything fancy. And so the WeLight app fully does everything I want it to do. It adjusts the brightness, it adjusts the color temperature, and then you can adjust the RGB color as well. There's only one thing I don't like about the WeLight app, and that is that you can't actually type in a hex value for the RGB color. You can do that on the Slides Link app, and you can see the hex value in the WeLight app, so I wish you could just tap on it and type in the hex number so that you could exactly match a particular color that you always use. But apart from that, I honestly like the WeLight app better than the Sinus Link app for what I use it for. 
All right, so let's talk about battery life. So the Aperture MCs have a 2,600 milliamp hour battery, and then the K21 has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. So it's a slightly smaller battery in a bigger case. And practically what this really means is that the battery life on the Aperture MCs is better. But that's kind of to be expected considering the fact that the Aperture MCs are a much smaller light. I did some testing and I found that the K21 lasts about one hour at 100%, while the Aperture MCs last roughly double that. But it's, again, it's kind of to be expected considering the fact that the K21 is a much larger light, therefore the battery won't last as long. But practically for me, it's more than enough for what I need to do. I definitely have never run the K21 at 100% for any of my videos because it's just way too bright. I normally have it at well under 50%, probably more like 25%. So I'd assume it would last maybe two, three, four hours. I haven't done a proper test on it yet, but it will definitely last me as long as I need it for making a YouTube video, which generally is under half an hour if I'm doing it right. Plus with both lights, you can leave them plugged in via USB to a power source and they'll last pretty much all day. As long as you have them plugged in, they will keep working, which is really good. Both use USB-C and I was really happy to see that you can definitely leave them plugged in because again, if you're using them on a, on a longer shoot, for example, maybe you don't do just do YouTube videos, maybe you do freelance work and you want a light that can last you for several hours or maybe a whole day of shooting, just plug it in. You can even plug it into a battery pack and it will last you as long as you have it plugged in. So practically speaking, the battery life in both is great. No complaints with either and I don't think you'll be disappointed. So fourth, let's talk a bit about value for money with these two lights. Now the Aperture MC definitely comes with more accessories while the K21 doesn't come with as much. So the Aperture MCs come with 3M stickers to stick to different surfaces, a carry case for each light, which is actually quite high quality, a small silicon diffuser that goes over the light to make it softer, and then a charging cable. Now the K21 just comes with a charging cable. It doesn't come with any other accessories. But again, practically speaking, I haven't actually used any of the accessories apart from the silicon diffuser for the Aperture MC. So I never use the 3M stickers. And then the carry cases, honestly, they've just sat in my storage. I haven't used them once. I've used these lights on some professional freelance shoots and I didn't take the cases because I just put them into my camera backpack and they were perfectly safe in there. So practically speaking, honestly, I don't think you need the extra accessories that come with the Aperture MC. Obviously, apart from the diffuser, which is kind of an essential part of the light, I've almost never used the lights without a diffuser. So for the extra $20 that the Aperture MCs cost, I don't really see it's justified now, if you can see yourself using those accessories, then maybe the extra $20 for the MCs is justified. But again, for practical use, I've just used the charging cable with the K21. I haven't needed any other accessories. So lastly, which one do I recommend and what use cases might you use each light for? So I honestly, for a small YouTuber setup, or maybe even like a small streamer setup, I would actually genuinely recommend the WeLight K21. Now, full disclosure, WeLight did send me the K21 for free and I've got an affiliate link in the description, but I genuinely would recommend it over the, the Aperture MCs for someone like myself, who's a small YouTuber, maybe a streamer, something like that. And you just wanna add some color wash to your videos. Because like I said, practically speaking, it does beat the Aperture MC. Now, again, the Aperture MC might have advantages in terms of accessories, maybe even color accuracy, and even the sophistication of the Cytus Link app. But practically, you probably won't use any of that stuff. What you're probably looking for is a light that can add color to your videos, that's easy to use, it's got good battery life, and has a really easy to use app that you can adjust settings on. Now, of course, there are different use cases where you might need an Aperture MC over the way light. For example, if you wanted to mount the light on top of a camera, you're not gonna be able to mount the, <laughs> the way light K21 on top of a camera, it's just too big. Whereas you could definitely mount an Aperture MC in a cold shoe on top of a camera, which again, might really work well for your setup or for the type of video that you're wanting to shoot or you might be looking for a more sophisticated app that can link different fixtures together, particularly with the, within the aperture range. So if you've already got a lot of aperture gear, then it might suit you to stay in that ecosystem. 
But for anyone else that's just looking for a solid, reliable, and really nice, easy to use IGB video light, then I highly recommend the Waylight K21. Like I said, feel free to check out the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing your own. And just quickly, one thing I forgot to mention is that Viltrox, the company that creates the Waylight K21, is running a photo competition at the moment this month, and they're giving away heaps of really cool gear. So definitely check out the link in the description if you're interested in that. And check out my creative tech playlist for more creative tech content. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.